Hello, I'm Atuba Judge, and I'm so blessed to be bringing God's truth to you today. Now, I'm going to continue exactly where I stopped yesterday. But before we go into that, can we call for that daily bread? It's an instruction from the Lord, and we will keep it. You know, yesterday I told you I'll teach you how to keep God's word. Now, let's just do the practical of it. Because he told us every day on this broadcast, you must ask for your daily bread bread. He has to lead you to do that. Now he spoke that to me and it's my responsibility to keep it. So that's why I'm leading you right now to pray that prayer. Can we pray together? Say with me, say, Father, I believe and I receive my daily bread. Oh, it's been poured out to me now in Jesus name. Amen. Man, as I shut my eyes to pray that prayer, I saw a lady, you are a widow, and you've been having some challenging moments in your life, wondering how you're going to cope with your two children. Things have been a bit difficult for you. You've got two children, and you are a widow. The Lord is saying to you, I am your supplier. I am your husband. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you, gather up strength for the days coming ahead are glorious days for you. You shall rejoice in so much that people will begin to wonder why you have so much joy despite the fact that you are a widow. But the Lord is saying, I should tell you, he will fill you with so much joy that no one around you will be able to understand it. And it's not just joy from within you. It shall come in from within you and it will pour out that even those around you will see physically why you are joyful. So don't be discouraged about what you don't see right now. For the days coming ahead, says the Spirit of God, are days of glory and abundance for you. Praise God. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, believe what God has said to you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for today's broadcast. Indeed, burdens have been lifted. Yokes have been destroyed right now. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Praise God. So I was sharing with you yesterday. Oh, I was having fellowship with God and I was telling, bringing all these wonderful ideas that he should have executed over 2,000 years ago, praise God. And, 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 and the Lord said to me, he said, no. The people that saw me were the only ones that could hear me. And that's because Jesus, when he rose from the dead, he didn't rise up to be the same Jesus that they knew who died. Nah, no, no. He's paid for sin and he paid for sin with his life. When he rose from the dead after three days, listen to me, he rose up into his original self. You know, the way Jesus was relating with them after then. First of all, you remember when he met Mary Magdalene at the tomb. She got there and she was trying to look for, you know, she saw the tomb, the grave was open. She looked in, she didn't see him. And then she came out, she began to look around to know whatever she was looking for, maybe footprints, looking for anybody to act. And then she saw this man. And that was Jesus looking at her. And then she went to him. He said, sorry, sir. And, and he didn't disguise his face. So he went to him and said, sir, please, if you know where they've taken him to tell me, I'll go and take him. If this place is not good for you to bury him, we shall find a place. And Jesus said, Mary. Oh, that voice, that voice. When she heard that voice, she said, Rabboni. She recognized his voice. And the moment she recognized his voice, she didn't pause and say, what happened to you? Why did you change? No. 
she, she ran and hugged him and was so joyful and went back to tell the disciples, hey, Jesus has appeared and I saw him. And those disciples on their way to Emmaus talking about him and then he shows up amongst them and said, what are you guys talking about? And you know the story. They got to the room and they said, oh, let's pray. And then he said, okay, let's break bread. And at the moment he broke that bread and he began to declare those words and said, nah, this is Jesus. Because <laughs> guess what they said? They said, didn't our hearts burn within us while he spoke on the way? He, he showed up to them because they could hear him. Not everyone could hear Jesus. So there was no point. There was no point going to Pilate's house. Pilate would not hear his voice. And then he's not coming on a revenge mission. No! He's, he's coming to manifest himself. You remember, he told them in John chapter 14. We read that yesterday. John chapter 14. Let me, let me show, you, show you again. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Verse 19. He said, a little while longer and the world will see me no more. Praise God. They will not be able to see me. Not because I'm dead. No. I'm alive. You know what? Have you ever thought about this? Jesus is so alive today that he can walk right into your room. And I'm not talking about the spirit's manifestation. That there's a place for that. But Jesus can actually walk right into your room and sit down with you and talk with you. He is that alive. It's not a spirit that appeared to you. <laughs> but, but then he finished talking to you. You know, he can just walk through the wall and go. And you run to the other side of the wall. He's no more there. You look around you. I mean, this was just a second ago. You look around you. He's no more there. Yet, he's not a spirit. <laughs> you know, you know, when Jesus, Jesus, oh, la breta shubra rica hashianda, kele broko verenda, ke bradusia. Jesus appeared. <laughs> the disciples were waiting and they were wondering, are you sure? You, you know it's so amazing that this one comes and says, I saw him. I was looking like an old man, but I know he's the one. And then I came and saw him. Oh, he was, I don't know, he was a young man when I saw him. And, but I know he was the one because that voice, I can't miss that voice. And they were all talking like this and talking like that. And they're like, whoa, are you sure you guys are not seeing a spirit? And while the doors were shut, Jesus appeared in their midst. And then he says, hey, they, they, they thought he was a spirit. They thought he was a ghost. He said, come on now. He says, no, 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 I'm not a ghost. He said, I'm not a ghost. Because a ghost does not have flesh and bones like you see me have. So he is not that kind of ghost that you will walk through. You know, all those things we see in movies that, you know, so a ghost is standing and someone just comes and doesn't see the ghost and just walks through the ghost. You won't walk through Jesus. You, you will hit somebody, praise God. You, you will hit him. You, you will feel it. That means he's not a ghost. Yet, he walked through the wall. He's not a ghost. Yet, he can step out and you don't find him anymore. Yet, he's not a ghost. This is Jesus. Oh, Lebron, Nisha. Nikalibara, Sipro, Tahikata. Kroz, Jabaran, Reniko, Savi. Bretos, Kepar, Diha, Sova, Adehande, Degia. That's what he said. A little while longer, the world will see me no more. This is the opportunity now to see me. This is the opportunity now to take advantage of me being here. He didn't say everybody will not see me. He said the world will not see me. The only people that can see me are those that hear my voice. For they will hear my words and they will keep it. And when they keep it, I will manifest myself to them. Glory to God. That's what the Spirit of God is saying even now. That's what the Spirit of God is saying even now. That's what the Spirit of God is saying even now. To all God's children, 
He calls you to keep his voice. Keep his word. Even as you hear his voice, you keep his word. For he owes you the responsibility of giving you his voice. Giving you his word. For he said, man shall live by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. And he said, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Meaning they are capable of keeping you alive. <laughs> For that is what you are supposed to live by day after day. Everything concerning you should be ruled by the word of God that you have received from his mouth. He said, every word that proceeds from his mouth, so shall man live. Meaning he's got the responsibility of releasing words from his mouth to you even on a daily basis. For he said he loads us daily with benefits. Brothers and sisters, if you want to live life from Jesus, he has a ministry over your life to be bringing forth words out of his mouth to you. And as he brings those words, it is your responsibility to hold on to those words. You may be driving sometimes and then he will begin to talk to you. You may be lying on your bed and he will begin to talk to you. You may be walking down the road, you may be doing your exercise, running on the treadmill, jogging around your street and he begins to talk to you. What does he want you to do? He wants you to keep that word. Keep that word that came out from his mouth. Keep that word. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. You are doing something and, and you know sometimes we pray, we make requests. We say, Lord, can you help me with this thing, Lord? I, I don't know how to go about it. Can you help me? And then you think he didn't hear you. And then maybe two days later, one week later, maybe one month later, you, you are doing stuff, you know, just busy doing your thing. Then he, suddenly you hear him. He said, listen, when you get to handle that thing, do it like this, do it like that, do it like that. Right? Hey, yeah, Lord doubts you. He's there. He's there. He's there. He's there. Yes, he's there. And as we begin to believe him, soon his manifestation will begin to come. I'm telling you, literally, testimonies of these will begin to happen. And you don't have to be special. You don't have to be, you don't have to be so anointed. You know, you don't have to fast for 40 days before this happens. All you need to do is to believe him. Believe him and day after day, desire his voice, desire his word. Listen, he said, you will see me. And because I live, Maruz, you shall live also, praise God. He's our life. I will only die the day he dies. But guess what? He's not dying again. He can die again. He can die. How? How can he die? How can he die? And then he's told me, because I am alive. You see why you shouldn't be afraid? Because he's alive. <laughs> he's alive. Glory to God. You, you, you shouldn't be afraid. You shouldn't be afraid that you die tomorrow. You shouldn't be afraid. Maybe you're sick in your body and you, you know, thought keep crossing your mind. Maybe this thing will kill you. Maybe you will die. Maybe this is how you will die. Maybe this is the month you will die. Maybe this is, no, sir. No, 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 no. You are not dying. You know why you will not die? Because he lives. Oh, come on now. Don't you believe him anymore? He said, because I live. John chapter 14 verse 19. Because I live, you will live also. Praise God. Because I live, you will live also. This is not a case where someone gave you a word of prophecy. And the person tell you what's going to happen in the future. And then now the person is gone. You know, it's gone. And then you are there, you don't know what to do. No, sir. The one who gave that prophecy is still alive. His name is Jesus. He can't die. And that's why I always tell people, you, you, no matter what, who, who spoke to you, 
You know, someone can walk up to you and say, Thus say at the Lord, and starts giving you prophecy. Believe them. Yeah, believe them. But you see, be smart enough to go before the Lord and say, Lord, so so prophets, and I believe him, came to tell me this. Can you talk to me about this? Because I know the fulfillment is going to be between me and you, not between me and that man. He has obeyed you by coming to give me the message. But then I know the fulfillment is between us. So can we walk together concerning this? And he will come himself and confirm that words to you. Praise God. My time is up. Oh, glory. Glory. I pray that this joy fills your heart and you begin to manifest it in every way. Praise God. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow. And guess what? Tomorrow is the last day of 2021. Oh, glory. Praise God. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.